In this session, I will cover overview of most important financial ratios every stock investor should understand. The financial ratios are based on financial statements that act as raw material. I would recommend watching videos on financial statements before you delve into financial ratios. I explained three core financial statements. Starting with income statement. Income statement tracks company's revenue and expenses. Revenue minus expenses gives you profit. In short, income statement shows whether company is making profit or loss for a given period. The second financial statement is balance sheet. Balance sheet reports company's assets, liabilities, and shareholder equity. You should consider companies with strong balance sheet before investing. Strong balance sheet will help your company succeed even through the toughest time. The third financial statement is statement of cash flows. A cash flow statement summarizes the amount of cash entering and leaving a company. It is very important that stock investors should know where to find financial statements, how to use, analyze and read. One of the best ways to analyze financial statements is to compute financial ratios. You might question why should one compute ratios? Let's take an example of companies with different size. Large companies will have larger profit. Small companies will have smaller profit in terms of absolute number. How do you decide which company is better? Think about another example. Company ABC has a profit margin of 10%. What does it tell you? Well, not much. In one industry 10% margin could be really good whereas in other it's a sign of a struggling company. For example, in retail business 10% can be considered as very good profit margin whereas 10% margin is a sign of struggling company in software product. Financial ratios can help to solve this problem and assist with better analysis of company financial statements. They are used most effectively to compare companies and analyze financial performance. Here are few important benefits of financial ratios. Financial ratios scale companies number to common denominator. It helps to compare companies across industries irrespective of their size. It helps comparison across time. It shows how company is changing over time. It helps to compare company performance against some kind of benchmark. It's time to understand different types of financial ratios. Broadly financial ratios are classified into five different categories. Let me list down. Profitability. Liquidity. Leverage. Valuation. Operating. In reality, there are too many ratios. However, it's enough to understand few key ratios for better investment decisions and increase probability of success in long term. There are several ratios under these categories every investor should know. Let's get introduced to important ratios under each of these broader categories. Let's start with profitability. As the name suggests it measures profitability of the company. It reveals how well a company is making use of its assets to generate profit. There are four main profitability ratios. Profit margin. Return on equity. Return on capital employed. Return on assets. The next financial ratio is liquidity. It is used to determine company's ability to pay off current debt obligations without raising additional capital. In short, it determines the company's ability to cover short-term financial obligation. There are three main liquidity ratios. Current ratio. Quick ratio. Interest coverage. Let's move on to the next leverage. It measures how much capital is coming in form of debt. It also assesses the company's long-term financial health and ability to pay off its debt as it come due. Here I will cover two main leverage ratio. Debt to equity. Debt to asset. 
The next important ratio is valuation. A valuation determines whether a stock is cheap or expensive with respect to company profitability. There are four key valuation ratios price to earnings, price to book value, price to sale, price to free cash flow. Along with these valuation ratios, discounted cash flow is a valuation method used to estimate the value of stock based on companies' expected future cash flows. This is also known as DCF analysis. This is very important concept that will be discussed during valuation of a stock. Let's move on to the next operating ratio. It measures efficiency of company management to generate revenue by keeping cost low. There are several operating ratio. I will cover three main that investors should know. Inventory turnover. Assets turnover. Receivable turnover. I recommend taking a brief pause and remember these important terms. In this session, I have introduced you to the most important financial ratios every stock investor should understand. I will cover each financial ratio in successive sessions. Thank you.